What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 PTS video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's PTS video, we are going to test out the newest, hardest hitting, or should be the new hardest hitting Pestilence build. There we go. Because we do. We have a new king on the throne. And that is due to this new named holster. I'm going to show you. I'm going to test it. I'm going to show you different versions and test those and show you why this is going to be the newest, hardest hitting pestilence build in the game. Not only that, but it is also the tankiest. Weird, right? I know. It's crazy. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already. And let's jump into this, right? Okay. So um, before all of this, to get the hardest hitting pestilence ticks, you would need multiplicative damages. Now, doing multiplicative damages, people would, uh, you know, gravitate around uh, glass cannon, um, you know, contractor's gloves or Walker Harris for the armor damage. People would flock around the damage targets at a cover and things like that. Now, knowing the pestilence does not um, get affected by crit, or headshots for its talent, and that it's all purely based off of weapon damage and multiplicative damages, we can, you know, tailor make a build to get the hardest hitting pestilence ticks in the game. Now, I've done this a few times over the years, and I love doing this because the pestilence is a lot of fun to use. And I think that with this new holster, it kind of gives you more of a tanky running gun feel with the hardest pestilence ticks in the game, which is nuts. All right, so in order to test this out, right, there, we're gonna need a few things in our builds. Now, I can't go into the firing range just yet because it'll be considered a combat area. So here are the three builds that we are going to test together, okay? So this right here is the, um, the hardest, kind of the hardest hitting right now. And that is with the two heartbreaker, the uh, sacrifice, contractor, Sawyers, and then one piece Walker Harris. That way you're getting your base damage up as high as possible, and you're also utilizing those multiplicatives. Now, I was using two pieces of Walker Harris and the Hollow Man mask. That way I could also have a lot of damage to health. Um, but we're going to use this one, and this will be our title update, you know, 15. Uh, mock-up because now we're looking into everything title update 16 so this was the old you know the old king on the throne right then we're going to test it up against two different uh, variants from this patch here's one right here now this is going to be two uh, heartbreaker the new named holster the Picaro's holster the Sacrifice chess piece, the Contractor's Gloves, and then One Piece Walker Harris. This is technically, on paper, the highest damage bonus on paper for the Pestilence. And then we're going to, we're going to show you the true king of uh, the new hardest-hitting Pestilence build, and it's actually the tankiest. You can see both of these are 1.1 million armor, and then this one's 1.2 million armor, and it hits harder. And that's going to be the fun part to show you is that I am rocking two Walker Harris contractors sacrifice the new Picaro's holster and then Sawyer's knee pads. And this, and I'll show you, is the new hardest hitting pestilence build in the game. Now, obviously, we are in the PTS right now. So if they uh, mess with the weapon damage, then, you know, we're going to have to reattack this in a future video, but for right now, as of right now, this will be the newest, hardest hitting Pestilence build in the game. Now, it's all centered around this holster right here. So this is the Picaro's holster. This is the brand new named holster that will be introduced in season 10 and title update 16. It is the new named Brazos holster, and it comes with 20% weapon damage as an attribute. Now, you cannot change the core attribute to a weapon damage. It can only be armor or skill tier. So, of course, I kept armor on there. I went with crit chance and then weapon handling. 
Now, crit chance doesn't really matter, but that weapon handling does help out the pestilence. But it's all about that 20% weapon damage right there from that one attribute. And that's how we're getting the 1.2 million because now we have two blue core attributes and we're hitting harder than the other builds. It's ridiculous. It, it truly is. All right. Now for right here, um, the Pestilence is at 119.9K, right? Now let me show you. I was talking about the hardest on paper, right? So this one is 134K on paper. Right, so that's uh, what fifteen thousand more uh, on you know per damage. So th that's a lot, but still, it's not going to even hit nowhere near as hard as the setup uh, I just showed you. So this one is utilizing the two heartbreaker, the walker, the contractor sacrifice, and then the new Picaro's holster. So let's test them out. I'm going to show you some numbers, and it's pretty cool. And then we'll do some gameplay. Um, I'll probably squeeze in a quick uh, build breakdown of the hardest hitting, and then we'll finish it up with the gameplay. But first, I wanted to show you the numbers. Now, I'm just going to walk right outside of this door, switch builds, and walk right back in. So I'm only going to have to do this once. So here we go. So five meters, invulnerable elite, right? Now this is the Pestilence build just hard on paper, right? 134K total damage, looks amazing, right? If I go to my stats, where am I at? I'm at 130 for the all weapon and 55 for the LMG. So I'm sitting at 185% damage bonus. You would think that this would be the hardest hitting, but it's not even close. It's not even in the same ballpark. And let me show you. So I'm not using Sawyer's knee pads, so I never have to be in cover. I can just run around, do whatever I want, right? So just chest piece. We're just going to shoot the chest. Get my stacks up, and I'm good. Okay. One, three, eight, nine. So that is without the Sawyer's knee pads. 1.389 million. So you would never have to go into cover or do anything. You could just run around run and gun, and you could hit 1.3, technically 1.39 million um, per tick on the Pestilence. And that is really strong. It truly is. That's a really strong setup. And for like a run and gun mentality, for sure, do it. Um, not bad. You still have 1.1 million armor, but remember, you're using perfect glass cannon. So here's the one from the last patch, the current patch for everyone that's playing the full game right now. So this is the other one, and we have to get our Sawyers to proc. Now the reason being is it has this talent, Stand Your Ground. So you increase your weapon damage by 3% every second you are not moving, and that's up to 30%. So I'm getting 30% weapon damage just from this, and here we go. So the number to beat is 1389, and this is with Sawyers. And get my full stacks. There we go. And now we're at 1.6 million. See that? 1.6 million. All right. Now, I can hit even harder. Okay. Now, that's the number to beat. I can make it hit even harder with this combination. And this is where I'll stop and I'll show you the uh, build breakdown as soon as I'm done with these numbers. So, here we go. Here is my hardest hitting pestilence build. You ready? Drum roll, please. Do 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 do. Uh, I'm doing like a breakdown. Do 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 do. All right, here we go. So get in cover. Get your Sawyers to proc. Now the number to beat is going to be 1.602. Okay, 1.602. And go. All right, and full stacks right there. Reload. Now we're at 1.609. Now it's not a lot. It's only 7,000 more per tick. However, I have one or 100,000 more armor, and it hits harder. So it hits harder by 7,000, and this is the only build with two blue core attributes. So if I go down here, 
I'm actually, if I could uh, just increase their grades just once all the way around, I could get 1.3 million armor out of this. And I believe I could just by making all of these 21 instead of 20. Because remember that now with the new update, the new top expertise level is now 21. So if you come over here to expertise, you can see instead of the 343 or 342 that we have to become proficient in right now in game, once this patch goes live, we're going to have 350 items to become proficient in. And that way it makes it go up to 21 for the expertise level. So if I were to do that, let me see. So expertise, um, what was I using? I was using the sacrifice, right? So let's just, uh, let's just do the sacrifice and that backpack. It was a uh, Walker Harris, right? So Walker Harris backpack, boom. Now, just from doing those two, now if I go to my stats, go, I'm 1,000 away. Okay, hold on. I'm going to hit that 1.3 million for you guys. All right, so expertise. Let's do gloves, contractors. There we go. And I'll show you what the max armor you can get on this build as well. And that would be under holster. And then it is called the Picaro's Holster. There it is. And there we are. Now we're at 1.3 million armor. That's crazy. Where the other two don't hit as hard, and they are at 1.1 million armor. Both of them. They're at 1.1. And now we're at 1.3. And it could go a little bit higher if I uh, upgraded the mask and knee pads. But still, so now you're at 1.3 million armor and you hit harder per tick from the pestilence. That's crazy. So here's your little build breakdown, okay? Now, you can use whatever you want for the specialization, doesn't matter. Same with the secondary and the sidearm, doesn't matter. You can use whatever skills you want, doesn't matter. As long as you have this build combination and the pestilence, that is all that matters. Make sure that your specialization is specced into LMG damage, and you're good to go, okay? So as far as normal attributes, again, those don't matter either. You just need the weapon damage rolls. So we are using two pieces of Walker Harris. That's because we get the weapon damage and the armor damage as well. Now this mask has the max core attribute, 15%. Going to the backpack, 15% max for that core attribute as well, but this one also has Vigilance. So it increases the weapon damage by 25%. So that's how we're getting our number up even higher. Then going to the gloves, Contractor's Gloves. So we get the LMG damage from the brand set bonus, we get the 15% from the core attribute, and we get the 8% armor damage, which all apply to the Pestilence. Going to the chess piece, the sacrifice. This is the named Providence defense. Now the brand set bonus doesn't really matter. It's headshot, but that core attribute, max 15%. And then this time we have perfect glass cannon, and this amplifies all damage you deal by 30%, which helps out the pestilence. Now, the Sawyer's knee pads, these are if you want to stay in cover, it would behoove you to do so because you're going to hit like a Mack truck if you do. And these uh, come with that talent, Stand Your Ground, which increases your weapon damage by 30% as long as you uh, stay in cover for 10 seconds. Pretty crazy. And you also get to utilize that blue core attribute. And then finally, the new named holster, the Picaro's holster. Now, this one, it only comes with either a blue or yellow core attribute, but it also comes with that 20% weapon damage. So technically, you could use any uh, Picara holster you want just as long as, you know, it has that weapon damage, which it will. So, yeah, you're good to go. Just get one to drop, and you could throw it on a Pestilence build. It doesn't matter what the other attributes are. And there you have it. Pretty simple, right? Um, yeah, it's really simple. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, 
I'm going to switch this up a little bit and do some countdown. And see uh, what that's all about. Now, I kind of want to use the Banshee Pulse. So I'm going to switch to Gunner. It's already specced into LMG, so that's good. I'm still at 119. But now I can equip that uh, Banshee Pulse. So that's like what I said. You can use whatever skills, whatever specializations. It really does not matter. And I'll use a Defender Drone. There we go. Not too shabby. Okay. And that's it. And I'll save this one down here for that gunner specialization. And we are good to go. Now, if you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But besides that, let's see. I'll try hard difficulty. Let's do that. So we're about to do hard difficulty countdown. Um, I might let the entire match play through, um, but it just depends on how long the video is. I might just, you know, cut it halfway through or something. Um, but we'll see. So sit back, relax. I hope you have your popcorn ready, because now we're about to try countdown on hard with the new hardest hitting pestilence ticks build in the game. And it's also the tankiest. Here we go. Countdown on hard. Communication relay offline. Cleaners have infiltrated the power plant. They triggered a lockdown. I'd rather not have their slash and burn tactics anywhere near a nuclear reactor. We need to shut down the broken transformers and restore the power grid. And here we go. Okay. Oh, we have to get our uh, countermeasures on hard. Interesting. You don't have to do that on easy or on normal. But you do on hard. Nice. Okay. So let's get, let's take out the hunters. So we'll do that. That way the video is not too long, but it's not too short. And you get to see what it does against the hunters. Here. Is it 10 seconds? Okay. I'll wait. I will wait. I will wait for you. Alright, there we go. And do this. System restored. There we go. Look at those pestilence st uh, stacks, man. Immediate medical assistance needed. And boom. There we go. First hunter down. Let's see. What was my countermeasure? Close range. Okay, cool. I could Fs with that. Oh, I was waiting for the uh, for the ticks to go away. Come on, man! I'm playing with Sawyer's. You need to let me charge them up first, bruh. All right, there we go. Let's see, where is he? System oh. curtailed. That sucked. Serious trauma. He detected. jammed me right before. No! Agent incapacitated. But good thing I can respawn. He jammed me right before I let that pulse go. Damn. That was lucky. Lucky on him. System back online. Alright, let's try that again. got him. We got him. What? What? Vital signs critical. 
Yeah, keep those pestilence ticks on. Yeah, how you like me now? How you like me now? Look at that, just chunking away. Dang, that's crazy. All right, keep going. Get these other hunters. The only caveat is you have to stay in cover for the uh, Sawyers, that's all. And that's why I wanted to show the hardest on paper so that you could run and gun and still hit, you know, 1.3 million instead of 1.6. Immediate medical assistance needed. System malfunctioning. There we go. Oh, Why come on. Critical. Agent down. The pestilence ticks didn't kill him? Bro. Oh, because I went down, the pestilence ticks goes away. Agent, Damn. Alright, let's keep going. Come on. Seconds. System curtailed. All right. Easy peasy. Ten minutes to lock down. Evacuate the facility. Don't worry. Cooldowns decreased. Okay, good. Oh. Second. It's like the longest time to wait and cover. Yeesh. Oh, and of System course, then you jam me. Why wouldn't you? Alright, I'm only gonna have 10 seconds. Alright, here we go. 10 seconds. Got him. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. There are your hunters. Just a quick little demonstration during the PTS. That's all. So I hope you enjoyed it. Nothing too crazy. But we do have a new best um, build for the hardest hitting pestilence ticks. And it is this build right here. Double Walker Harris. Contractors with the Sacrifice, Picaro's Holster, and the Sawyer's Knee Pads. Put that up with the Pestilence, and you can use whatever specialization, skills, whatever it is you want. doesn't matter. And uh, have some fun. You can get it up to 1.3 million armor, like I'm showing you right here. And it hits really hard. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more Division 2 content, and I will see you all in the next one. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. Take care, everyone. Peace.